What's up everyone? Welcome back to Budget Builds. This week we were painting the deck and we're also going to install the center council so that I don't I'm going to start painting the top cap too, but I want to in install the center council so I don't scratch the top cap. Now, let me take you back to a couple of days ago when I started painting the inside and I'll be right back with you on today. So today we're going to uh, paint the deck and I'm going to use Total Boat, Total Tread, Non-Skid Deck Paint. And I'm going to do two coats of that. I got a mixer, make sure all the beads and everything are mixed in well, I guess. But first we're going to clean the two back corners. I can see there's a lot of debris in there from when I sanded and washed the boat. And once the two back corners are cleaned, then we can go ahead and uh, start painting. First coat of the tread safe, the non-skid coating for the bottom. Uh, this is going to take two or three coats, and I'll be back with you every time I do a coat. I think it needs 24 hours between each coat, so this time, same time. Okay, um, this morning, before it was even light out, I put a second coat of non-skid on the deck floor and one coat on the walls. Now it's been long enough to wear. I'm going to put a third coat just on this area right here, not the inside because that's all going to be covered anyways. And I'm going to put a second coat on the walls and that should be it for the inside. two or three coats on it uh, Saturday I'll be back Saturday because it needs 20 uh, 48 hours to cure and on Saturday we're gonna start cutting holes in the center console for the steering wheel and shifter and everything and I want to get that inside the boat before I put the first layer of top coat on the red part because I don't want to scratch it trying to get it in there so see you then okay as you can see everything has been painted inside I have three coats on the bottom, except for the bilge area. I have three coats on the bottom, and I have two coats on the side walls. Now today, we're gonna install this center council. I did uh, mark out where the speakers are gonna be. We're gonna cut those out. And then up here is the steering wheel, shifter, radio, stuff like that. Now when I did buy this, someone installed starboard on top already. So it gives me a clean state, it's a clean slate. And we're gonna cut those out before I put them in the boat so I don't make a mess. 
get all the sawdust and everything on the outside. Now I do want to say I will be throwing a coat of the top coat paint on the sides. As you can see up there, it came off. But I will not be painting this or this because I do plan on getting cushions for it. And if I got enough paint, I'll paint it, but I don't think I'll have enough, so it's going to stay bare for now. But the sides, all the sides are going to get it, and then that should be good. Now, let's throw you on a time lapse and start cutting these holes up. As you can see, I got the two holes cut. Fits pretty good. Now, if I didn't say anything before, I am using the Boss Marine System, I guess. It's just off Amazon, something cheap. And now I'm gonna do the other side off camera and I'll be back with you when we start the top. Okay, other side is cut. Didn't quite follow the lines just because I forgot about the bezels on the speakers, whatever. Now, we're gonna start cutting. This is the radio. This is my switch panel. This is the steering wheel. This is the throttle control. Then I have four cup holders that we're gonna cut out up top. Stick you on a time lapse and let's do this. I got the three main holes cut, the radio hole. This is a three and one eight inch hole for the steering wheel. And I got the shifter controls. Now I am gonna cut the, the cup holders off camera because there's no good angle to get to it. And I'll just show you at the end. Okay, uh, got the four cup holders cut out. I left this middle section instead of putting a fifth one or if I want to put a, uh, a GPS or fish finder or something. I haven't figured that out yet. Got all the holes cut, everything fits, everything screws together, everything goes together, it's good to go. Now, you're gonna watch me struggle to try to get it in the boat. And yeah, put you on a time lapse for that. A lot harder than that. And I got it all lined up on those PVC 1x4s that I put in there and fiberglass in. It's all sitting right. Everything measures right. Now I'm gonna lift it up on a, some a couple stilts or whatever and silicone underneath of it, underneath where the screw holes are and set it back down, put some screws in it, and I think we'll be good to go. I think that'll be permanently installed after that. Okay, I think that will be it for this week. We got as far as I wanted to. I mean, this is episode 10, it took me 10 episodes to get to putting the actual council in there, which I'm very happy about. It's actually starting to look like a boat again. Now next week, we'll be painting the top cap. I'm gonna work on that all week because it needs at least 
12 to 16 hours between each coat. I'll film that. And then we'll also be putting in like the steering cable, the control cables, power cables and all of that so that we can put the decking on. Now the decking is going to be composite decking and yeah. Now when I decide to get the composite decking, that's what's gonna go between the two. I'm gonna put some supports in the middle and then that's what's gonna go between this and that. I'm just gonna put, I got gray composite decking that's gonna go all the way across like this and that's what the seat's gonna sit on. The fuel tank is gonna sit on that. And I think it'll look nice with the gray and white. So yeah. Now I do wanna say thank you for everyone that has continued to watch and watch the progress of this. So I wanna say, please like, comment and subscribe. Anything helps right now, trying to get my subscribers up and have a nice weekend.